Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today it is my absolute pleasure to share with you this brand new Holiday House 24TB. This particular trailer comes in at 4,980 pounds unloaded and is about 26 feet in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today, talk about some of the cool features and what makes this trailer so special. So, since it is so windy, I'll keep this short. Let's go ahead, get onto the inside, and start with the living area. So, we're at back on the inside of this 2022 Holiday House Model 24TB. And if you've seen our other Holiday House video on our 18RD that we had here earlier this year, you'll recognize this view instantly. The trademark to the Holiday House is this big picture window up front here. And I absolutely love this. It gives you so much light and it, it's just unique. It really is. And it really captures that classic 1959 and 1965 Holiday House feel. Now this middle portion here is glass. The two corner portions there are actually made by the same company that builds the fighter jet canopies for the US military, which is pretty cool. And those are a high-end Lexan. So they're not gonna shatter if you get a rock kicked up or something. Now, as you can see here, you have the huge uh, bench dinette here. This will turn down into a secondary bed for some guests if you need it to. Um, and that was one thing that a lot of people didn't like about the 18 rb is that this was your main bed well since this has twin beds which i'll show you here in just a little bit um you don't have to make this down all the time now over here you've got these nice side stands right here you uh you do have a couple of electrical outlets right there which is always handy you're also going to have this nice shelf up front here another couple of electrical outlets there so if you're going to use this for you know, traveling for work or something, you can definitely do that. You're going to have the privacy shades here, as you can see. And then as we come over here, you're going to see a light switch, your, uh, two electrical outlets. You're also going to have cable and power for a TV if you want to put one up here. Now, this is not a entertainment-focused floor plan, so just keep that in mind, but they do give you TV hookups. Now, if we look up in here, you do have a large max air vent fan, which is always a very nice feature. All LED lights. And as we kind of take a look at the kitchen here, you can see that it is a small kitchenette. Um, I love that stainless steel backsplash that they have. And I love that they're doing a side splash, which is so nice. So many brands don't do that. Um, now, this is not a solid surface countertop. They're going more for the look and feel of that 1950s trailer. So this is not a thermal foil or anything. It is technically a T-molded countertop. But if we look down in here, you can see that they do have the little screws and everything. So that's not going to pop off if you have any water get in there. Now, one of the namesakes to Holiday House is all the wood you see, these cabinets and everything, and these panels here, is the only wood in this trailer. The whole skeleton of this, including the frame, which is custom built by Holiday House, and we'll talk a little bit more about that on the outside, but there is no wood in here other than the cabinets and wall panels. Everything else is aluminum, which is great for the longevity. Um, even the floor is a fiberglass honeycomb style floor, so it's a waterproof floor. And we'll take a look at the kitchen here in a little more detail. Um, I do want to talk about these, the kind of the namesake of this. This is the 24TB again. TB standing for twin beds. So as we come back here into the middle of the trailer, you can see that you do have, like I said, twin beds on either side. Now, I know somebody's going to ask if this converts into a king bed. It does not, to my knowledge. Um, now, you can also get this in the 24OF, which 
replaces this bed here with an office desk space. And a lot of uh, construction site foremans or you know oil field people will use that or contractors, things like that. Um, and then you can also get this with a, just a single bed, I believe. Um, now, if we look back here, a couple little details. You have lights for each side of the bed. You're also going to have power back here for each side of the bed and little nightstands to set your phone and things. So I really like that. Um, as we back up here, this does have a 15,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner standard. You don't have to pay extra for the larger air conditioning. And it is now ducted, which is a new change for 2022. So I really like that. Another thing that they do is they use a kicker sound system. So it's a very high-end uh, stereo system. This does not have outside speakers, by the way. Just uh, want to go ahead and um, put that out there. If you appreciate the fair and unbiased information, you know, because telling somebody that it, a trailer doesn't have outside speakers may not, you know, may cause them to not buy this trailer. But I would rather give you all the information. When you're spending this much money, you're going to want to know everything about this trailer. Now, this is AM, FM, and Bluetooth. So you can uh, Bluetooth this to your phone, um, which is nice. And you have several speakers throughout the entire trailer. You've got cross breeze windows on both sides back here. Every window except for those front windows does open, which is nice. So again, as you can see, you have plenty of walk room here. Um, plenty of space in here. This trailer does not feel small. It really has a good feel to it, um, which is something that I like, and especially for a, no, a non-slide out trailer. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and open up all of this storage. And I tell you, for a 24 foot box trailer, this thing has a ton of storage. I was pleasantly surprised. So I want to start in the kitchen. So as you can see here, this is all real hardwood cabinets, um, which it's all birch wood, which is nice. Now they do use some paneling here and there, but it is very high end pocket screwed and glued cabinetry. Now this is designed to compete with the Airstream. Now, one of the nice things about these is you can actually fit cereal boxes in these cabinets, which is something you can't do in an Airstream. So here you've got good cabinetry space. I love this light above the kitchen too, which is nice. Good storage up above the hood range. You've got your kind of interesting shaped sink with the high-rise uh, spring-loaded sprayer faucet. Three burner cooktop. This does not have the glass cover, so just keep that in mind. You do have the automatic automatic ignition with the blue light, uh, light up knobs. And then you have your microwave. Now that is not a convection microwave oven. So I, um, I wish they would do that at this time. They're not going to offer that as a available option, but you could always change that out if you want to. You have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers plus a place for your sponges. If we go ahead and close that up, you do have this kind of nice silverware divider. All these are the soft closed drawers, which is nice. Great storage underneath there. Again, like I said, you've got uh, three drawers in the sponges thing. Uh, very nice storage underneath the microwave there. Now over here, you're gonna have your control panel. So you've got your tank monitoring panel, a whole bunch of lighting controls, water pump, water heater, on gas and electric switches. And then you've got your awning control. So this does have a power awning. Now this in here is a very large storage compartment. It goes all the way back there. It's probably hard to see, but I'll show you where the rest of that storage is from another angle. Now, if we come back this way, you do have another drawer right here. Again, soft close there. And then this will be your main pantry space. So as you can see, you have a ton of pantry, closet space, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, I really like their cabinet pulls too. They're, they're very um, old school is the way that I will phrase that. Now, as we come back over here, and I know I'm bouncing around all over the place, but you do have a nice little shelf up here for some things. Six cubic foot. Uh, actually, I believe it's an, yeah, that's a six cubic foot gas electric fridge. Uh, so there's your freezer compartment. And then here is your refrigerator compartment. This will run again off of propane and electricity with the automatic switchover. Um, just know that you have to turn that off if you go through a tunnel or uh, come up to a filling station. Now, as we come back in here, I do want to go ahead and open this storage for you. So again, nice, big, usable cabinets. And then right here, if we look in there, you can see that you do have a nice chunk of hanging storage here, which is again, really, really nice. Now, as we come back into the bedroom, you can see that you do have, again, really good storage in there. It does go all the way across. So way back in there. And I'll go ahead and open this one for you as well. So very, very good storage there. You're going to have the same thing on this side. Same exact storage. The only thing is on this side, you are going to lose uh, that little spot where the stereo system is. Now, if we drop down underneath the beds if we pull this down you can see you have really good storage underneath there and same thing right there and then you'll have a matching set on the other side so with that being said guys that's going to wrap it up for the living and kitchen area storage let's go ahead and take a look at the rear of this trailer take a look at the bathroom and i tell you this has got such a good bathroom so as we come back here, you do have a sliding pocket privacy door to separate off this bathroom. If we come into the bathroom and we take a look to our right, you can see that you have a very nice shower surround. This is a huge shower and because of this uh, tapered back wall here, you have plenty of room in there. Nice, huge skylight. You can be upwards of 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and still shower in here comfortably. Nice hand, uh, hand wand fixture. You are going to have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet down here, which is really cool. Plenty of room around there. Great storage underneath the sink. Perfect for a trash can. Large sink. Pardon the antifreeze. This unit is winterized. GFI protected outlet. Nice little medicine cabinet. Now it does kind of taper off up at the top there so you want to put some smaller things in there that does have a mirror you can also see that you do have a four inch square fart fan as we like to call it and then back in here you have tons of linen closet space and if we really get back in here you can see that it does go all the way back into that corner which is nice and it goes all pretty much all the way to the floor so i really do like this um this is this has more storage in it than some 30 foot travel trailers and i'm not over exaggerating about that it really is a well designed well thought out travel trailer and if you're looking for something super high quality you have found it with a holiday house now these things um they are expensive this particular one has an MSRP of $71,994, or actually, you know what, I'll just show you rather than trying to say that. So uh, right here, you can see uh, $71,959, excuse me. Um, now, again, obviously, is if you've watched some of my other videos, that's not what we're selling this for. Because these videos live forever, we cannot advertise our sale price. So just keep that in mind. If you would like our current sale price on this particular trailer, feel free to give me a call at 806-335-2336 or shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. 
With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the outside, take a look at some of the features there. I apologize for some wind noise. It is kind of breezy today, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, guys, so we're out back on the outside of this 2022 Holiday House Model 24 TB. So as you can see, this has the nice chrome exterior here. Uh, it does have the green, or uh, excuse me, the seafoam green accents, as you can see. Now this does have an all aluminum chassis. It's custom made by Holiday House. Um, as you can see up here, it's not a traditional chassis made by Lippert. Pardon my jump box, but up here you've got your manual tongue jack, 12 volt battery box, two 20 pound propane tanks, which is uh, you know pretty much standard stuff. As we come around here, you can see that you do have the power awning. That is a standard feature. It does have the white weather guard. So it's got the aluminum wrap over it. This is a tandem axle travel trailer, which is nice. You have their custom made step that is on gas props so that you can push it in and pull it out with ease. Now this does use the Torflex suspension. So it has fully independent suspension, which is extremely nice. You can see that you have the baby moon hubcaps. You can see that you also have a propane quick connect, four manual stabilizer jacks. You can see two of them back in there. This is also a uh, the back side of your refrigerator, so that's that vent. I love their little holiday house logo. That's just so classy. Again, this is an aluminum sided travel trailer. You've got some power outlets right there. Back up in here, you do have a little bit of storage. So not the greatest amount, but it is better than nothing. On the back, again, you can see that custom aluminum chassis, spare tire, spare tire carrier. Uh, here's your license plate holder and you have all LED tail and marker lights. Coming back over here, you can see where your termination valves are. Notice that they are nice and tucked up right there. And then right up in here, you are gonna have your some of your connections here. Um, this one, which I believe, yeah, so that'll be your 30 amp detachable power cord. And then this one should be cable and satellite hookup, as you can see right there. I love these little fixtures right here. That's just neat. Coming back over here, here's the exhaust for your furnace. And then up here, you're gonna have your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. And then in here is gonna be your fresh water and city water connection. So overall guys, this is again, a very high end, extremely well built travel trailer. If you're interested in something like this, or, or if you'd like to special order one, um, or if you'd like to see what the price is on these, or if you have any questions, uh, you can leave any comments down the comment section down below. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, we thank you very much for watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you appreciate the fair and honest reviews, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below as well. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We appreciate every one of you for liking, sharing, commenting, and taking the time to watch our videos. We hope that you enjoyed, found this video informative, and have a wonderful rest of your day.